Hello everyone, Seth right here with more Final Fantasy IX. As you recall, we uh, just finished off in Limblum and uh, are heading back to the Black Mage Village to find out exactly why there's sentient Black Mages with Kuja. So this will be exciting. Probably not. Looks like nobody's here. Where did they go? I'm gonna go look around. Okay, so no, okay, I've seen some buffering on my end. There we go. Alright, let's go take a look around. See if maybe we can figure out exactly where these black mages went. Hey, at least now I can get them back here. Black belt. Walk in a Forest by Black Mage number 30, 234. Our Village by Black Mage 123. I like the music here. Oops, I didn't want to go in there. Hold on. Two thousand gil, excellent. How do you want up there last time? All right. Where is everyone? They went away with Kuja. Two other guys stayed behind. They're probably at the Chocobo Shack. Why? Why did they go with him? They learned about our lifespan. We can live only for a given amount of time. Kuja said he knew how to extend our lifespans, so everyone followed him. He's lying! I bet he's lying! Look what he's done to us. He's been using us, treating us like puppets. Maybe we are just puppets, created to serve humans. Come on, that's nonsense. Where did they go? I can't tell you that. I can't betray them. Then why didn't you go with them? You said the other two guy, two other guys are in the chocobo shack, right? Silly. Hot. <laughs> yeah, Limblum's music is not that exciting. Hello, is anyone there? Silly. Please, open the door! It's born! Oh. Wait. Finally. Finally. Hooray! Hooray! I still can't believe it. Yeah. I don't understand. Why are you here? We're here to look after the Chocobo. At first, we were gonna go with everyone, but someone had to stay behind to look after the Chocobo egg, so we stayed. We kept the egg nice and warm by putting a lot of hay over it. I can't wait to show them to everyone. They're gonna be so happy. We have to come up with a name. Hey, what's happening to me? I feel strange. M me too. You stayed behind because you were worried about the chocobo egg. I don't know. I wanted to follow Kuja because I was so scared of dying. But I couldn't. I felt like I was leaving behind something behind. I want to ask you something. 
What is it? A am I gonna stop pretty soon too? I don't know. Kuja said the prototype built before us would last longer. But I am gonna stop eventually. I was really confused when my grandpa died. He told me, silly, there's no need to be sad. So I told myself I can't be sad. That's why I felt confused again when I heard that everyone was stopping around here. I didn't know what to do or what to feel. But when I saw Pia crying when her mom died, I wasn't confused anymore. I was sad. If I were just a puppet, I never would have felt that way. Mr. 288, we aren't puppets. I know we aren't. I hate him. I hate Kuja! He's turning everyone into puppets just to kill people. If it weren't for him, I know everyone would understand someday. It's not fair. Silly. Kuja's secret palace is on the eastern side of this continent. It's buried under quicksand. You'll need a ship to get there. Thanks. I hope we can become strong like you someday. Indeed. Indeed. Silly has so much on his mind. Unlike me, he's fighting so hard. I thought I would change after I met Sasare. Once I acceded to the throne, I knew I had to change. But nothing has changed. I'm so helpless. Wow. Pia, were you listening too? That crybaby sure has come a long way, don't you think? Pia? Are you alright? Don't worry too much. Silly has his own way of dealing with things, and you have yours. Come on, cheer up! We'll beat up Kuja, and you'll get back your voice back in no time. Sasori! Is something wrong? Okay, let's get going. Mr. 288 said Kuja's palace is buried under quicksand, right? Yeah, we're taking the ship to the eastern side of the continent to get there. Excellent. To the eastern side of the continent. I don't think I bit. I was over there at all. I was in the center part there with Madden Siri and uh, Conde Petty. Uh, anyway, Madden Siri and Conde Petty, but I wasn't actually in. Um, the eastern side. I went to the western side to fight, uh, or to go to the life of tree. Alright. Let's get the pack out of here. Hey, an actual fight. Maybe I'll summon Atomos and get a look at what he looks like. Depends on if uh, he survives that long. Nope, he does not survive that long. Goodbye, Griffin. Sand Scorpion card. Alright. And around we go on the blue Narciss. Was that? Uh, that's probably something for later in the game. There's quicksand. Ship to get there. Let's go around to the other side, though. You did. I'm sorry. I did that just yesterday. Bahamut versus Alexander it was yesterday.
Hey, troll. Hello. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna summon Atomos against you then. Oh, Pia can't concentrate. Go figure. All the more reason to not bring Pia, actually. Yeah, I uploaded it to YouTube already, so whenever you're ready, you can go do that. I forgot about the command fail thing. I do. We'll bring Pacamat for now. Alright. Hop off there. Let's equip her. Alright, you'll be fine. Sandworm! Hello, Sandworm. I had a guess. These things got a ton of health, like they did in earlier games. Well, that's not good. Hi, Corneg. There you go. How much time do I have left? Fifteen minutes. Which one of these I have to go into? I think I have to hit it just as one of the smoke clouds go up. Otherwise, I'm gonna get stuck fighting like an ant lion or something. Yep, hello, ant lion. Or I go to the one that doesn't have, uh... Of course you're gonna use Sandstorm, why wouldn't you? I hate this skill so much.
That's dead. So that one in it right there that I'm looking at, that's directly ahead of us, is the only one I see that doesn't pop up with uh, one of those damn dust clouds, so I'm thinking it might be the entrance. I knew you'd come. Everything is going according to plan. Sassare! Ribbit, wake up! Ugh. Sid, where the heck are we? Good question, Ribbit. I wish I knew. After I fell into the quickstand, everything went dark. That's all I can remember. Me too, Ribbit. When I woke up, Ribbit, I was in this room. Oh yeah, where is everyone? I don't know, Ribbit. I hope they're alright. So, you're finally awake. That voice, it's Kuja. I'm so happy to see you again. You rat bastard, where are my friends? My, my, aren't we feisty today? No need to worry about them. They're in rooms not unlike yours. Oh yes. By the way, I should probably enlighten you two as to your current situation. Yikes! I'm sure that even your feeble mind can grasp what would happen if you were to take that plunge. <laughs> Kuja, you're dead! Oh dear, was it something I said? Either way, now that you're awake... Awake. Now that you're aware of your predicament... I'd like you to do a little favor for me. I'll let your friends live if you say yes. Hmm. Whatever. Damn it, I don't have a choice. Very good. You've chosen wisely. First, step outside. He said, I need you to look after the others. Fine, Ribbit, I won't let you down. And you, Ribbit, come back safe. Yeah, I will. See ya. Not these guys again. Stand between the two black mages. Welcome to my humble abode. Just cut to the chase and tell me what the hell you want. My, we're upset, aren't we? Well, this is your errand. I want you to go somewhere and bring something back for me. So tell me what it is already, you demon. I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Surely you haven't forgotten that I hold your friends' lives in my hands. I'm going to send you to a place called Ulvet. Where's that? Ulvet is south of the Seaways Canyon on the Forgotten Continent. It really isn't my kind of place. What do you mean by that? You see, there's an anti-magic barrier around the place, and I want you to send. Uh, and I want to send you because you're too stupid to use magic. Once there, I want you to retrieve the Gulag Stone for me. What do you say? Isn't it a simple task? I'll even send you on my luxury cruise ship. Perhaps it's too much for you. I'd better send three of your friends just to be safe. Besides, nobody likes to fight against himself. <laughs> Never mind. 
speak their names when you've chosen your partners. Okay, so anti-magic, huh? So I think we should bring... You say? What do you guys say? I don't know, maybe I should bring Leanne. Steve. And Lilith. Looks like a good group. I want Steve, Lilith, and Leanne. Fine, I shall summon them. Steve. He was asleep. Lilith. And Leanne. Step through the door. Proceed to the center of the platform. Spare me the emotional reunion scene, please. Now, go stand it with your friends. You'd better keep your promise, Kuja. Of course, you needn't worry one bit. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Well, we got captured easily. Oh, there's fights in here. Interesting. I'm not overly surprised about that, actually. Well, this did. Hello. Trouble knife, that's weird. Matro magic? Ah, I haven't seen nothing since like FF7. See you in a bit, Tilly. Alright. Whoa! That must be the Hildegard. <laughs> and I run into a fight. Oh, he's frozen. Impact crushes the enemy. That's awesome. Ice Brand. For the win. Oops. Run down here. I was told not to go any further. These knife guys are kind of weird. Ow. That hurt. Tastes bad.
Rear headed. Uh, Steve. Getting your butt kicked by knife user. Ship flying us around. There's the life tree. Hey, can we really trust Kuja? Hey, can we really trust Kuja? Hey, say something! They will not answer to you! Respond to our orders only, they do! What? what? You backstabbing bozos! Those are slanderous words! Worst lies I have ever heard! You needn't concern yourself with such things! Or an end to your friends' lives we shall bring. Damn it. The Black Mages were originally designed to just to oppress, but a strong sense of self the Black Waltzes came to possess. Always obey us, these mages do, because a strong ego they have not. These mass-produced ones are to break one's war through with their lot. Other purpose than war, they have not. They have grown attached to life, yet they'll soon disappear. Hilarious, nothing but toys are they they here. I don't think you guys are any different. What? Rubbish! You say that the black mages have no souls, but you guys are pawns. Just like them. Am I right or what? You won't be talking so big once we're done with you. Regret those words you will. Well, let's just take it easy until we arrive. Drive safe, alright? Hazard and Thorn. Q mash there. Forgotten continent. Gonna land me right here. All right. And this is where we're gonna save for now. Thank you all very much for viewing today. Um, we're going to be doing Final Fantasy XI on Sunday. On Monday, I'm back to my usual time of 12:30 to 2, uh, as I'm going back to my usual shift. That said, everyone, thank you very much for viewing, and I hope to see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.